They plan to cover over 60 kilometers in two days, marching for their economic freedom. 51% of South Africa's youth is unemployed and they're fed up. Do you think this march will change things for you? I, I think so. How? Maybe they see, they, they will see people, they are angry. Who, the government? Yes. Like many here, Mawetu Destile is not only unemployed, he's unemployable. South Africa may be the continent's economic powerhouse, but the majority of its young people lack the skills needed to benefit from many of its strengths. Down with poverty, down! Down with unemployment, down! Julius Malema, president of the ruling African National Congress's youth wing, believes the answer lies in nationalizing mines and expropriating commercial land, a demand that makes investors nervous. We have not observed anywhere where nationalization of mines has succeeded. And we know that the countries like Zambia had the nationalization of mines and the level of productivity went down, level of employment, unemployment went up. There's general consensus here in South Africa that unemployment and inequality have reached unacceptable levels. But some argue that the ANC Youth League's proposed solutions could cause more problems for the country and that this march has more to do with the internal politics of the ruling party than with improving the lives of the poor. Malema is a 30-year-old firebrand appealing against the conviction for hate speech. He is also the subject of an ANC disciplinary inquiry after calling for the overthrow of the government in neighboring Botswana. This march is also part of an emerging power struggle, as Malema accuses President Zuma of failing to address inequality and unemployment. The thousands that turned up could help Malema show that he and not Zuma has the support the ANC needs to stay in power. But to his critics, Malema is more interested in exploiting the plight of South Africa's youth for his own political gain. In Kepilema, we say CNN, Johannesburg.